Hey, what's up guys? I just bought some new boots for myself and I thought, you know, I really got to get this off my chest. I have to do a video about the truth when it comes to picking soccer cleats or football boots, whatever you call them. So in this video, I'm going to break down the truth, the real thing that you may not want to hear, but you need to hear. And I'm going to give you four ideas on how to pick the proper boot for your foot. So the truth, let's get into this right now. The most important thing, as I said, you may not want to hear it, but you need to hear it. Guess what guys? The coolest looking boot isn't always the best boot for you. You know what's the best boot for you? It's the most comfortable boot. When it comes to picking a shoe, a cleat, comfort is the number one most important thing. Now, if you go after that $400 super fluorescent, looks so cool, you can't wait to have it on your foot and you put it on your foot and guess what? It actually feels amazing. The comfort is incredible and you're honest with yourself. Okay, then go ahead and buy that cool looking boot. But if you put it on and it doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel right, no matter how cool it looks, I need you to be honest with yourself and I need you to say, you know what, it looks cool, but it's not comfortable. If you want to be able to play 90 minutes, if you want to be able to play every day, if you want to be able to play to the best of your ability and not worry about aching feet, not worry about blisters, not worry about bad calluses, you need to pick a boot that is comfortable. So that is the truth when it comes to picking boots. I see so many kids, they want to get the flashy polka dots and fluorescent pink and all the studs and all the bells and whistles. They want to get the coolest thing because that's what everyone has. But number one, it comes down to comfort. So now that I've got that off my chest, you know the truth about boots and you're going to adopt that mentality the next time you go out there and get a boot, you're looking for comfort over cool. Let's get into four things that I want you to think about when you're picking a boot. So I just bought these boots for myself the other day, Puma, Puma Evo Speed 3.4, black and yellow, and I'll do an unboxing video on this for you guys as well. But four things that I want you to think about. So number one, you put it on your foot, how does it feel? Right away, you know if it feels good or not. You put on a brand new pair of sneakers and it feels like you're walking on a cloud. It's nice and cushioned all over. How does it feel? Be honest with yourself. How does it feel? So the next thing you want to think about, is it pinching me anywhere? For me, I usually get pinched because I have a wide foot. I'll usually get pinched on the side of my big foot or uh, my big callus. I know a lot of us get calluses right here. So I have to be honest with myself. Is it pinching me here? Also on this side, is it pinching me here? You may get pinched here and some boots definitely pinch you on the heel, which is the worst having blisters on your heel. And it's all about your foot. Everyone's foot is a little different. So every boot is going to react differently to different people's feet. So you need to be honest with yourself and ask yourself, is this pinching me anywhere? After that, you can move to pressure points. So especially with those flashy boots, honestly, I've been through them all guys. I've bought a lot in my past and they looked really cool. I was excited to wear them, but by the 60th minute, my feet were killing on certain pressure points for different boots. So the pressure points on these, some are blades. Some are blades, you know, some boots have, or some cleats have blades on all the studs. Some are more like this and they're just nibs on all of the different pressure points. Okay, so when you're putting on the boot, you're standing on it, can you feel, oh, this is already putting pain on certain pressure points. I'm not gonna last 90 minutes. I'm not gonna be able to play every day in these boots. You need to be honest with yourself. So you're talking about feel, you're talking about the pinch in certain areas, and you're talking about those pressure points on the bottom of your foot. The last thing I want you to think about is the fit. So when I put my foot in there, does it actually fit? Yeah, you really wanted those boots, but guess what? They only have a size nine and you are actually a nine and a half. Oh, they look really cool though. I really want to buy them. It's going to hurt you in the long run. Maybe they'll stretch out. No, get the proper fit. So important. Comfort guys, the truth, the truth about boots, the truth about cleats. It's about comfort. Okay. So how do you know if it's the right fit for you? Well, you should be able to wiggle your big toe. Your big toe should not be right up here pressing, okay? You should have just like a little half inch and you should be able to wiggle your big toe. You should be able to wiggle all your toes. You'll have a little more room on the other toes in your feet, okay? But it should be nice and snug. Again, some boots are wider, some boots are more narrow. So if your feet are like wide feet and you can feel, again, you'll feel them pinching, but you can feel them really pressing to the sides, 
you're not gonna last, it's not gonna be worth it. Okay guys, so those are four things I wanna think about. The feel, the pinch, the pressure points, and the proper fit. So please, please, I know this is a bit ridiculous and it may be something you don't want to hear, but at least take that idea into your mind with you when you go into the shop and you're trying to find some new cleats. Think about the most important thing, the truth when it comes to buying new boots. It's all about comfort. Be honest with yourself. If you go in there and you try on that cool boot and it is comfortable, okay, go ahead. You have my blessing. But if you put it on and it's not comfortable, but you just want it because it looks so cool, you're cheating yourself. You're gonna have to come back in a few months and buy a new boot anyway. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope I wasn't just ranting. But if you did like this video, please comment, please subscribe, please share this video with your friends and teammates, and please come back tomorrow for another training video. I'll talk to you guys real soon.